After a two-month recess, members of parliament are set to resume sittings in two weeks' time after Speaker Kenneth Marende issued a gazette notice recalling parliament on the 14th of this month. But with the reopening date only giving MPs two weeks to shift through, debate, amend and approve crucial bills meant to implement Kenyan's 17-month-old constitution before the 27th of this month, a section of MPs are not comfortable with the date set by Marende. The deadline is for, for Parliament to pass, pass laws is, is the 24th, uh, and therefore we have less than uh, uh, 25 days to handle this matter. We as Parliament, we are not going to take this kindly. Them have wait staying put waiting until the last minutes and then they come and bring in all the bills at once according to abdi kadir key bills that were supposed to have been published by last month are still pending sources within parliament say that the date was picked because it coincides with the day that the independent electoral and boundaries commission iebc is scheduled to submit its report on the boundaries review to parliament for debate so we need to be proactive know the bills that fall within our docket and they get become proactive and begin to discuss those bills proactively and with expertise ahead of time. We are behind the curve. We, we're really in trouble when it comes to the timelines. On the MP's legislative menu is the approval of four key laws on land, devolution, as well as set laws that will control the revenue funds for county governments. The last time that members of parliament hurriedly debated and adopted some of the constitutional bills to beat the 27th of August deadline, there was some uproar from the civil society over the quality of the bills with claims that some of them lacked public participation. Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo is already on record that some of the bills need amendments. The MPs also want Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo to withdraw the proposed constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill that seeks to alter the date of the elections, saying it has already been overtaken by events. This after the High Court gave President Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga the leeway to determine the date of the elections, should they agree in writing to dissolve the coalition government. Chris Dairu, Citizen Live at Nine.